The dream of life in space is one shared not only by the people of our nation, but the people of the world. International cooperation widens and deepens the pool of knowledge, intelligence, and material resources devoted to making these dreams a reality. Recognizing the benefits of international cooperation in space and its potential impact in improving our children's quality of life, U.S. Space Camp in early 1990 began preparing a new experience, International Space Camp. The program's goal, to promote the advancement of all mankind through international cooperation in space studies, found favor with Vice President Dan Quayle, who also is president of the National Space Council. The result, a letter of invitation signed by the Vice President to apply for the first International Space Camp to be held in Huntsville, Alabama. With help from NASA, the European Space Agency, embassy officials, and an international contingency of educators, the invitation was distributed and applications were screened. Young people, ages 14 to 18, and educators from 20 countries were notified of their acceptance. For 10 days, this international group exchanged cultures, hopes, dreams, and friendships. And friendship was also extended from the corporate sector by Delta Airlines, the official airlines of U.S. Space Camp. Delta, the lead sponsor of the inaugural program, provided all air travel within the U.S. and offered assistance with international travel. Washington, D.C., the gathering place. Here, participants received their first taste of true Americana, as well as a warm welcome from Senator and former astronaut John Glenn and NASA Administrator Richard Truly. And in particular, I want to again say uh, congratulations to each of you for your selection to represent your home countries. For each one of you does indeed represent the best and the brightest of your nation. Two days of touring and briefings prepared the group for their arrival to Huntsville and subsequent mission training. Sunny skies and smiling faces greeted opening day activities. Flying their colors and wearing traditional native apparel, the group said a quick hello to Huntsville and the press. It's a great privilege and honor to be here today and certainly a great opportunity for all countries for further cooperation in space. Hands-on training for an international mission found trainees in shuttle and space station simulations, turning upside down and round and round, introducing everyone to the space age culture. Parallel programs for students and teachers helped everyone to speak the same language. Supplementing and guiding program progress, special guest lecturers included former NASA astronauts Mike Mullane and Charlie Duke, CNES French astronaut General Jean-Luc Chrétien, ESA astronaut Ulf Merbold, and from the Canadian Space Agency, Ken Money. Nearby, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center offered a veritable wonderland of technology. The tour was highlighted by a welcome from center director, Jack Lee, as well as Boeing Company representatives who conducted a narrated tour of America's space station freedom. The group also visited the roots of the astronaut corps, aviation. Outdoor training at the Aviation Challenge area created quite a splash among international trainees. With their week drawing to a close, hands-on training took on a new meaning as program participants joined together for their international mission. Main engine start. Four, three, two, one. SRB ignition and liftoff of the shuttle Endeavour. The shuttle has cleared the tower. starting roll program. Mission control confirms roll maneuver. Engines running at 65%, velocity 2,400 feet per second. Mission control. Standby for booster separation. SRB separating. Velocity now 20,000 feet per second, altitude 59 nautical miles, downrange distance. Prepare the acrostic, cut it up, bring it to water. Shuttle crew. Got up my uh, waist header from that 
Space Station. Roger, Houston, we hear you loud and clear. You are looking good for a normal landing. Gear down and lock. Teamwork at its best. Touchdown. Congratulations was the word for the day as graduates were awarded their International Space Camp wings. An unforgettable experience. Capturing the spirit of the event, participants bestowed the program motto, cooperation, not competition. It's a good idea to join together students from different nationalities who have common interests. I've never ever experienced this sort of thing. We don't have anything like this in Norway. We don't send up space shuttles, so we don't get very much information on that. That's basically why I wanted to come. There isn't um space camps like this in Huntsville and in my country and in Soviet Union. I look it for the first time. It's really great. Plans for International Space Camp 1991 are well underway with expectations of increased attendance and international representation. Outside funding is an important aspect of this future planning. As a nonprofit educational organization, U.S. Space Camp depends on corporate and foundation support to meet monetary, materials, and expertise requirements. Corporate investment yields are high. The youthful enthusiasm and newfound potential realized are the best dividends we offer. Benefits also include a corporate public relations service through program press releases and other associated program materials. Cooperation, technology, business and education, north, south, east and west, bringing about the fruition of our dreams of life in space, allowing us to make lasting friendships along the way.